Hello, this brings us to the nearly the end of the album. This song is The Traveler. It was the 20th song that I wrote, and it was written sometime in December of 1995. This track uh, was a little bit of work to get ready for this album because it was one I had to be a little bit of a hard ass as a producer and look back and say, quit being nostalgic, quit saying it belongs the way it was written because it, it doesn't, it needed some work. And uh, sometimes you have to be the, if you want to put the best stuff you can out there, you have to be hard on yourself and you have to get it right. So this song uh, is, is a bit interesting. It came to me as a piece uh, for a Dungeons and Dragons companion CD. So I met uh, somebody when I was in Denver. I don't remember where I met them or even what their name was, but he approached me and he said he wanted somebody to write a musical companion CD to play along in the background of Dungeons and Dragons sessions. And I thought, wow, that's brilliant. That probably would be a really cool thing to have, you know, somebody to create that mood, enhance the fantasy side of it and, and, and make it a much better gameplay experience. So I wrote two songs. One was called Enter the Dungeon, which will show up in another album at some point. That one also will need some work. Uh, and then The Traveler was the second one I wrote. And the idea of this one was someone who really just kind of went from village to village, didn't, you know, really have a, a an end game, just somebody who, you know, would go to each village and try to trade up or, or do what he needed to do for food or supplies and make his life or his journey better so that when he got uh, to whatever the next thing was he had to fight, he would be a little bit better prepared, a little bit healthier, a little more well fed. And the, uh, the initial, uh, part is really kind of just like a happy little boom, 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 boom. Really just a, a nice little warm thing. But as you add the other instruments, you can tell it gets a little more tense. There's more depth to it. There's more action to it. There's more going on. So it's not like he's just walking in and going, hey, I have this tomato. I want to trade it for that. It's, it's really like tense bargaining. Um, sometimes you don't trade up from one town to another. Sometimes you, you get shafted. But it, in the end, you know, you just keep going. So it's the intensity and the ups and downs of this journey. And then there's the point in the middle where he's just... He's just tired, man. He's, he just wants to rest and, and he's tired of fighting. He's tired of pushing. And if you think of it, even in the world of Dungeons and Dragons, if you're playing a long-term game, now I've never played this myself, but I've played video game versions of it and similar games like Diablo and that, where you just, you just get tired of campaigning. You know, you just, you're like, I just need a break from all of this. And so, uh, there's the little lull section, but in the original version, it was just the lull section. There were no solo instruments. It just went on forever. It went. It, it didn't go anywhere. There was nothing interesting about it after you got past the first four measures. So, uh, so I added in some solo instruments, and it's kind of a conversation, a, a bartering, if you will, uh, just a, a back and forth dialogue, asking a question, getting an answer, asking a question, getting an answer, and uh, and I think that enhanced it quite a bit. Um, I did add an extra reverse symbol at the end that was not in the original version. But, uh, and I think it kind of helped enhance the song a little bit. But this song is very heavily percussion, and uh, I really, really like the uh, the direction that it went in as far as the production goes, because I think it really moves the song along. It's like, now he's energetic, now he's found this new resolve, and he keeps going and going. So uh, anyway, I, I hope it's a song that you enjoy. It's one of my favorites that I've written, which is why I wanted to get it included on this album. And uh, and I think it fit very well within that, that work frame. So thank you guys for uh, watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the song. Feel free to leave some comments. Let me know what you think.